range of motion, uh, the passive range of motion of the shoulder, uh, you can do with a little bit of an offset on the table so that the shoulder clears the edge of the table so that you can do extension in this position. Uh, so for flexion, you're just gonna grab the forearm and the elbow and bring them as far as possible. You can come and put your hand on the torso as well, see when it starts rising because that would be an indicator uh, that the lats is tight and now you're compensating with your torso to get more range of motion. And then you bring it down, roll down an external rotation to clear the tubercles from the um, subacronal fossa and then bring them into as much um, abduction as possibly can. You can see his elbows rate is raising so that the, the pack is a little tight here. And then you can put them into 90 degrees of abduction and do external rotation and internal rotation and see when the shoulder girdle starts lifting. Uh, that means that you're at the end of the range of motion for uh, uh, ex internal rotation. And then for extension, you're just gonna bring them in extension gently um, and see uh, when again the shoulder girdle rolls forward and that's it. We don't do uh, passive range of motion in adduction uh, because uh, well it's rarely impaired and also functional is just being able to uh, duct your elbow to your ribs.